I'm Peg Breen from the New York Landmarks Conservancy. We're at Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx for another tourist in your own town excursion. With more than 300 acres of lavish mausoleums, scenic landscapes, and an eclectic collection of famous politicians, soldiers, musicians, business people, women's rights pioneers, artists, and writers buried here, Woodlawn is a treat for the living. Woodlawn was created in 1863 as a more accessible alternative to Brooklyn's Greenwood Cemetery. Woodlawn was and is a short train ride from Midtown. During the Gilded Age, the wealthy erected grandiose mausoleums designed by James Renwick, John Russell Pope, McKim Mead and White, and other top architects of the day. Oliver Belmont and Alva Vanderbilt Belmont rest in a copy of a 15th century French chapel originally designed by Leonardo da Vinci. F.W. Woolworth, a five and dime fame, made do in an Egyptian revival style tomb designed by John Russell Pope, complete with Sphinx. The interiors of the mausoleums could be as elaborate as the exteriors. There are wonderful Guastavino vaults and Tiffany windows, Renaissance inspired rooms with stained glass and gilded candle holders ribbed Gothic-inspired arches and capitals. But Woodlawn contains monuments as varied as the people they honor. This wave-like commemorative sculpture honors people who died during the sinking of the Titanic. This obelisk marks where George Grinnell, the founder of the first Audubon Society, lays. In contrast, women's rights leader Elizabeth Cady Stanton, plucky reporter Nellie Bly, and Mayor Fiorella LaGuardia have simple markers. A trumpet graces the stone for W.C. Handy, the father of the blues, while the great Duke Ellington lies alongside his parents. Woodlawn is one of the country's great rural cemeteries, and it is now a National Historic Landmark. The Woodlawn Conservancy offers a variety of tours and programs for visitors. You can also just sit and enjoy the beauty of this remarkable place.